Hey everybody, welcome to the Muddy Reviews. Today we are checking out the Ido Gear Cry Style back panel. So when you get this guy, I just ripped these off. Uh, you have three little tags that come on it, and it's got this little black uh, thingy here. Get that out of there. Uh, one's an Ido Gear one and tells you it's a trustworthy tactical blah blah. And it's got a little QR code and their websites. And then um, you got your qualification information card here. Uh, one side's in Chinese, uh, the other side is in English, and it tells you uh, what this is, and that it comes in the colors of Multicam, Multicam Black, Black, and Coyote Brown, um, and then it's from Guangdong, China, apparently, and uh, says it passed a QC, so, hey, whatever. Also has this tag on here that says these guys use real YKK zippers, and a uh, little skeptical, but... The zippers do have YKK little uh, markings on them, so maybe they are YKK zippers. Uh, these are supposed to be cry compatible. Uh, a buddy of mine actually has one of these, and he said it worked on his real CPC. I don't know if this one's going to be cry compatible. We'll find out. Um, there is going to be another video here, hopefully sooner than later, that will have this um, Hooking up to a pair of the newly released Cry Molly zip panels. I ordered a set and they're on their way. All right, how does it feel? It feels pretty good. It looks like 500 Denier Cordura. Um, this is almost guaranteed to not be uh, near IR compli NIR compliant. Um, I would not probably use this in combat because it's probably gonna glow like all get out because this is most likely not real fabric. It could be, but I'm skeptical. Uh, but for BB Wars, perfect. It's good to go. Uh, eventually, I'll probably replace it with a real cry one. Uh, I just wanted to get this to kind of test it out. It'll transfer into my son's kit, and then I'll get a real cry one for myself. Uh, I've got a large loop panel here. Seems to be decently sewn on. I would have preferred to see a nice box stitch here, but yeah, it was whatever. It looks like it's going to be okay. Uh, the zips here are... Uh, 550 cord poles with some shrink tubing on them. I like that. That's kind of nice. And then it opens up. And this is roughly, um, this lid's roughly the size of an admin panel, to be quite honest with you. Can't fit a whole lot in there. But it'll hold whatever you need to hold, I guess. Uh, you've got quarter inch uh, molly loops here on the sides. And you got right here, it's a three channel uh, quarter inch pouch. Looks like it would hold um, a pouch okay. Uh, the stitching's actually pretty good. Uh, I will give them that. I'm really surprised how decent the stitching is. As far as the webbing goes, it could be real uh, multicam, but I don't see any multicam uh, markings on it. But that doesn't mean anything because I have seen plenty of length of webbing uh, used in real life that does not have that either. And it's real webbing. We'll see. You open it up. Uh, you've got some more little webbing pieces in here. Uh, you've got a tie down for like a camelback right there. And then you've got a button closure, and then another zipper uh, with the tubing. Yep, so you've got your reservoir uh, mesh holder here, and then you've got whatever else you need to fit in here. Supposedly you can fit a helmet in here. A little skeptical of that, but we'll see. I uh, may go grab a helmet here in a moment and try it. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Or I'll just wait till I do the uh, crack compatibility video and do a helmet then. Close that up. Uh, flipping it over, we've got the four little uh, palace point connections with the snap buttons, and then you've got the snap closure here. So down here at the bottom, like a real cry, you've got this uh, piece that comes out, and this folds out. It's got a drain hole uh, in it, as well as down here. And what this piece does is this allows you to run like um, bolt cutters or something in this back pass-through area. Uh, or back pocket right here. See, it's a pretty large pocket. And then it goes all the way down into that. So you could run bolt cutters or a breaching shotgun or whatever back there, um, and you'd be supposedly good to go. I personally probably won't be running bolt cutters back there because I'm just using this for BB Wars, but you never know. Uh, it does seal up nicely back, it's a little Velcro strip, and then it sits flush and it's good to go. Overall, not a huge panel. Um, actually kind of liking that. I wanted something small, uh, not as big as my Eagle Yodi. I wanted something just a little smaller that would uh, 
just hold some basic essentials and this looked like it would do the trick. I will definitely let you guys know how this works with the cry zips once they come in because I'll be doing a uh, video over the cry zips and then I will also show you uh, compatibility if it does work in that video. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, I'm actually looking forward to giving this thing a run and then eventually passing it on to my son and getting myself a real cry and be able to even do a side-by-side -side of the quality between uh, the fake guy and the real guy. Uh, most likely, I already know the answer to that is going to be the, the real guy is considerably better, but you never know. Uh, this will definitely, though, work for BB Wars. Hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you don't have the budget, you know, give some of this stuff a try maybe. Um, but if you definitely have the money to spend on the real stuff, definitely go with the real thing. You will, you just won't be uh, upset. I can guarantee you that. Until next time, get out there, play some airsoft, LARP hard, and I'll see you in the next one.